time for sound off. We're going to start with the New York Giants, whose general manager, Joe Shane, backed his quarterback, Daniel Jones, on hard knocks. Shane does not believe last year that Jones was set up to succeed. Listen to this. He didn't have much of a chance this year. That, that's legit. Like well, your off season, the four guys, your core guys that were going to play together played less than 60 snaps together. Yep. We have Miami, we got three practice squad guys playing for us. Yep. Like, yep. nobody could, like, you could have Pat Mahomes and he can't win it behind that. Courtney, what do you think of that? I like the candid nature of sure. all of that. I think that Tim McDonald and Brandon Brown, who you also saw in that video in a later clip when Joe Shane keeps saying that Daniel Jones is their guy. There's, if you can pause a few of those, you can see maybe they're a little taken aback by that. I like the access that we're getting to the Giants. This is obviously unprecedented. We have not seen an in-season hard knocks mm -hmm. like this before. But you put a $40 million quarterback in this situation where he had no Pro Bowl talent on his offensive line and no Pro Bowl wide receivers. I don't know many other $40 million quarterbacks who have been in that situation. This is the end of the road for Daniel Jones. If their investment, which they again did not have to make, if we can kind of go back and look at some of the buyer's remorse they might have, maybe they would have used that franchise tag on Daniel Jones after not picking up the fifth year option, after they won one playoff game and decided to give him the extension in March of 2023. I think the order in which things happened here is the reason that they now find themselves in a situation where they're gambling that Danny Dimes is gonna be the guy for them. Yeah, I think we're burying the lead here. Daniel Jones has missed 21 games over five years. So to me, you have to recognize what you have, his strengths and weaknesses. And on a $255 million cap, Phil mentioned this in, in the pre-show meeting, which is if Saquon Barkley made $10 million last year, wound up signing for 12, that's 0.07% of $255 million. <laughs> You're telling me you can't find 0.07% of allocation somewhere to keep Saquon Barkley which I agree, the object of the exercise is this guy right here, number eight, Daniel Jones, but knowing that he's not durable, mm -hmm. knowing this is a consequential year, why not keep your best offensive player to help him? Yeah, I think like, I, I, Shane didn't want to pay Saquon 12. I'm not sure he was thrilled about paying him 10, 10 last year. Uh, Bill, what did you make of that? Like, do you think Patrick Mahomes could not have succeeded behind last year's Giants offensive line? You think it's that simple? I know a lot of Giants fans who would like to see Patrick Mahomes try in a Giants uniform, <laughs> to be honest with you, Dan. But I, I really do feel like we're sort of burying part of the lead here as well when it comes to the offensive line, which, yes, there were a bunch of injuries up front that the Giants couldn't have accounted for. But the biggest disappointment on that line is the right tackle, Evan Neal, who was not, not healthy and didn't play well when he was healthy. And the guy who drafted Evan Neal is the guy in that video, Joe Shane. So... Maybe if they made a better pick along the offensive line in the 2022 draft, maybe they wouldn't be having quite as many problems up front. And Daniel Jones, as much as he might struggle, might have a better chance of succeeding with better players in front of him. What a gut punch, too, for Saquon Barkley within moments of free agency opening. He didn't go to a team that's across the country that they end up seeing once every four years. He went to their division rival in Philadelphia, and they're going to have to run into him twice a year now. Watching Hard Knocks and hearing how they were trying, at least like having the conversation of potentially shortchanging the face of the franchise, that $7 million figure, when you saw how lucrative the market was, maybe even unexpectedly for running backs this year, that was just never going to fly. And, and I'd be curious, Mike, to hear what those conversations would have been like inside of a front office when he ends up going to the division rival and not somewhere that is effectively Siberia yeah, or the know, New York quick, Giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been there. And what I would say is you're right. In the Northeast, you hope they sign with Arizona or Seattle because <laughs> right now everything's going to be about winning games and how did Saquon do with the Eagles. Yeah, he did not sign with Arizona. That is for sure. And the Giants will get to see him plenty. Will the Giants be in the market for another quarterback next offseason? Well, if he continues to play the way he's played, and, and obviously the injuries haven't helped him, but, but this is a team, uh, you know, he didn't have a lot of players around him. I mean, when you think about the Giants, when they broke the huddle on offense, who scared you? Nobody. You, you weren't afraid of any offensive player. The best offensive player, they actually let go to Philadelphia and Barkley. And they're going to play against him twice a year. That was their mm -hmm. best player. He just happened to be a running back. But no one really scared you uh, from the Giants' offense. So that, that's you know, the concern I have. 
You know, who, who it sounds like they did scare was uh, their general manager, uh, Joe Shane, because he was talking on this, uh, this off-season hard knocks they're doing over on HBO. Uh, a lot of the struggles Daniel Jones had last year, he put uh, on the offensive line. Listen to this. He didn't have much of a chance this year. That, that's legit. Yeah. Like your off-season, the four guys, your core guys that were going to play together played less than 60 snaps together. Yep. We have Miami, we got three practice squad guys playing for us. Yeah. Like, and nobody could. Like, you could have Pat Mahomes and he can't win it behind that. I'm not, I'm not sure he's right on that last point, but that's a Mahomes conversation. What did you think of that from the GM? Uh, yeah, I was stunned by that Mahomes comment as well. Look, I think fundamentally we've talked about this. If Daniel Jones is your quarterback, first of all, you know durability is an issue. To me, that's a threshold question. Missed 21 games. And Herm just m nailed it to me, which is, what is going to make Daniel Jones successful? It's Saquon Barkley. You paid him $10 million a year the year before. If it has to go up to 12 or even 13 because of a $255 million salary cap, guys, that is easy to find. So as Joan Shane alluded to, this is a consequential year for Daniel Jones. What better way to help him than to keep Saquon Barkley, much the way we saw a lot of success with Christian McCaffrey with the 49ers. Herm, I saw you laughing there a little bit when you were listening to those Joe Shane comments. What'd you think? Well, what is he supposed to say? He picked him. He paid him the money, <laughs> right? So he's, 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 betting on, he's betting on the guy he picked and the guy that he gave the contract to. And, and I get that part of it, but uh, this young man needs to be protected, obviously. They got to have a passing game where he gets the ball out very quickly because I don't know how good their offensive line is. When you think about these guys, the Giants in the NFC East, who's the worst team? Them or Washington? Right? It's because we know Dallas. the Eagles are yeah. good. We know the Dallas yeah. Cowboys are going to be good. So who, who's fighting for fourth place? Right now, for me, it's the Giants. And, the, and, and look, the Washington is going to start a rookie quarterback. But I mm -hmm. think that quarterback is a better quarterback than the Giants have. And Jaden Daniels. Bill, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you, you know, the, the argument that they should have surrounded Daniel Jones with more talent is one I agree with. But you know what makes it harder to surround your quarterback with talent is paying your quarterback $40 million a year. And I think that's the bigger problem here is that we haven't seen uh, Daniel Jones really play at a high level for an extended period of time. And we can say, hey, he's had injuries. Well, he's part of the reason why he's been injured is that he holds the ball for a long period of time. Uh, when he's played very well, uh, the second half of 2022, even that was a very, you know, low risk, get the ball out quick, you know, low efficiency or high efficiency, but low ceiling offense. I don't know that he's a $40 million quarterback, even with the right pieces around him. Well, I got to tell you guys, Joe Shane is kind of a viral star of this, uh, of this Hard Knocks uh, <laughs> franchise because he had another very interesting exchange uh, between himself mm -hmm. and Giants executive Tim McDonald uh, about, you know, should they pay Saquon? Should they let him go? Here, li listen to what he had to say here. We lose Saquon, right? What's our identity going to be on offense now? Like, what's our plan to, what's the next step of that? We're going to upgrade the offensive line and you're paying the guy $40 million. It's not to hand the ball off to a $12 million back. Thoughts? <laughs> I, 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 that's stunning to me. I mean, again, as Herb said, you got your quarterback, you paid him. You, you're the one that paid him $40 million. So what puts him in the best position to be successful? You happen to have a running back who's a great football player. He just happens to be playing running back. His pass protection's got better. He's good out of the backfield. So you do everything you can to keep him. Like, Herm knows a lot more about defensive football than I ever will. But when they break the huddle and people see Devin Singletary instead of Saquon Barkley, that doesn't make Daniel Jones better. Herm? You have one of the best football players uh, in your conference in Saquon Barkley. Not only do you allow him to leave, he, he actually <laughs> catches a cab and goes to Philadelphia. He's in your division. Yeah. You can't allow that to happen. <laughs> you, whether you like him or not, you don't want to play against this guy. You just gave Philadelphia another guy. And like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Stop I guess it. I guess the one thing you'd say in his defense is they really didn't do a lot of winning with Saquon Barkley, so maybe it's time to try something. I, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, been a lot of fun uh, watching what's <laughs> going on behind the scenes there.